All right, today we're going to continue playing with Rust-Oleum paint. We're going to use the Magic Hardener as a catalyst. I'm going to use acetone as a thinner, and I'm going to use the aluminum Rust-Oleum from the one-gallon can mixed into my gun. We're going to fire it off on a bunch of different substrates. We're going to use plastic. We're going to use wood. We're going to use a little bit of metal. Alex is going to practice on the large piece of metal prior to him shooting a, um, what is it, an Iron Man helmet? Prior to him shooting an Iron Man helmet. So that should come out pretty cool because that's going to be a candy paint job. This will be a better version of my original painting the tailgate video with my son. We're going to go a little bit farther with the Rust-Oleum paints. We're going to shoot it out of a gun, and I think you'll enjoy. So here we go. All right, we're mixing this four to two. Okay, now let's get our catalyst in. Now we're going to do two ounces of catalyst. So we're going to go to our ounce side here. 22, 24, there we go, and now we'll mix this up, get it in our gun, so you need to make sure these mix real good, so the catalyst and the thinner and the paint mix up real nice. Slow down, relax, that's how accidents happen. There you go, now you're getting comfortable. All right, let's get that jaw done. Keep it nice and smooth. All right, put it down to dry. Show me the gun. 
<laughs> for today, that'll work. Not using this tripod, and now I don't have to sit here and hold it for 10 minutes. I'm still quite happy. You can see this is a glass-like finish on both pieces. So this is wood, just Rust-Oleum on top of it, then a glitter coat, then the automotive clear coat. This is plastic, scuffed it up a bit, plastic adhesion promoter, the same Rust-Oleum aluminum, then the glitter coat, then the clear coat. Two different substrates with the same quality finish. We're gonna do some metal. That's what you're seeing in the background there. Probably won't get to it in this video, but that's the sides of my server cabinet. I'm gonna do a custom finish on that with some pearl and some thicker metal flake, and that's gonna be closer to what it would be if you shot this sort of stuff on a car, the way that I'm doing this on plastic and wood. But as you can see, you can get a phenomenal finish with very cheap products. Obviously, my gun's not cheap, but if you had a small compressor and you did this with a Harbor Freight gun, it would come out exactly the same way. You just have to practice using the gun and learn your dry times and make sure you get good prep for good adhesion and a smooth finish. So the Rust-Oleum furniture pieces that I'm working on in the garage are going here. Obviously this is my daughter Maya's bedroom and where I put this room together for her when she was uh, still in the tummy. but. Uh, Got all little nice fabrics and 
double hung curtains. For those of you who've been following me on Instagram, you know I've been working on my daughter's bedroom for her birthday surprise room makeover. And as you can see behind me, that project is complete. So let's. So over here on this part of the room, we had a rocking chair, we had a crib, and a changing table or changing station, whatever you want to call it. The room was already, I guess, designed this way by me when she was little. Had a rug on the floor and the rest of this stuff and it was set up for a little baby. And now she is a toddler, so we needed to change things up a little bit. So what I did is I bought the Calyx piece from Ikea, bought a mirror from a thrift store, and I got a dress rack from Amazon in unfinished wood color to put all these dresses and shoes and whatnot on. Now the part that we just worked on is the finish or the refinish I should say of this mirror. It has a three stage automotive type paint job on it. As you can see it twinkles in the light. The mirror was sanded down, finished in a Rust-Oleum aluminum color. Then it was coated with Rust-Oleum glitter. And then on top of that we have I believe about four coats of Speedo Coat Clear Coat, Automotive Clear Coat. I did the same with these pieces here. All of the fronts of the drawers are done the same way. It's just the front. The insides are all white. This is my version of the uh, three-stage lowrider style paint job. I call it the Princess Patina. Basically, it just gives everything a little bit of shine. And uh, as you can see, it really catches the light. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera there. Everything really twinkles out nicely. And she has room for all of her books and toys and whatever else she needs to put away. She's got her dress play area. The rest of the room stayed exactly as it was. I'll give you guys a quick look at it. A little trundle bed so when her cousins and stuff stay over. Got uh, double hung curtains with a little uh, silvery pattern on them, some white wood blinds. But this is the part that I just worked on and just completed. So now she has a play area that she has been using daily since her birthday. And now that this is complete, I'm gonna get back to working on my truck and we're gonna get a paint job on it. It's not gonna look like this, but it is gonna be a paint job and I am gonna do it with Rust-Oleum. That's going to do it for today's video. You guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, leave a comment down below. If you haven't already, take a look at my playlist. See uh, some of my other videos related to uh, DIY stuff at the house or truck, automotive, lowrider type videos. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.